Millions of people start to learn coding every year. Most don't make it past Hello World. So two weeks ago, I decided to test something ridiculous. Can you actually go from zero experience to building a professional website in just 14 days? No bootcamp, no degree, just my PC, YouTube tutorials, and one extremely overambitious idea. This isn't a tutorial. It's a story about frustration, failure, and the moments where everything yes, finally it. clicks. It all started when I stumbled across a video titled How to Build a $1 Million SaaS in 7 Hours. And like any overconfident beginner, I thought, yeah, I can totally do that. So I downloaded and opened up VS Code, copied the tutorial, and within 20 minutes, I realized I was completely lost. Functions, databases, servers, none of it made sense. I couldn't even get past the setup. And that's when it hit me. I was trying to run before I could crawl. So I decided to take a step back and build something more simple. Something I could see come to life as I learned. And that's how my mission switched. From building a SaaS worth a million dollars to building a clean, functional website dedicated to my favorite car in the world, the BMW M3 Competition. By the end, I didn't just finish a project. I built the mindset that millions of beginners needed to survive the beginning of their coding journey. And here is how I got there. Every coding journey starts the same way. How hard could it be? Turns out, pretty hard. My first mistake was trying to build a complex SaaS platform with no idea of what any of the code meant. I was copying everything line by line from that video. Feeling like a genius until I ran the code and nothing worked. That's when reality set in. I didn't understand a single thing I was typing. And instead of chasing shortcuts, I started from the basics. HTML and CSS. The real building blocks of web development. I came across YouTube channels called BroCode and Web Dev Simplified and got stuck in on their videos explaining HTML. By the end of day one, I didn't have a SaaS or even a proper website, but I did have something more important, a direction that finally made sense. And it was there in my bed that the first glimpse of that mindset started to form. It's not about finishing fast. It's about finally understanding what you're doing. Day two was humbling. I went from dreaming about a million dollar SaaS to learning about what the fuck a div actually does. It felt like I'd fallen from the top floor straight to the basement. But once I accepted that I knew nothing, everything became easier. I followed along with the tutorials, not to copy them this time, but to understand why each line mattered. By the end of the day, I could write a simple web page from scratch. Nothing fancy, just text and structure. But it was mine, and for the first time, it felt like I was actually learning not just following and copying code. And then I realized something. Complex things are always simpler than they seem. The more I learned and spent time with each tag, the more understanding I gained. And if I could understand one thing, then learning everything just means learning one by one until I get it all. By day three, I was ready to build something real. I opened up a new file and typed one line at the top. H1, BMW, M3 competition, close the H1 tag. And although this header would eventually change, that was it, the start of my website. From there, I just kept on adding the tags I remembered. And half the time, I didn't really know what I was doing. I just knew something needed to exist on the page. It looked awful, text was everywhere, and the spacing made no sense. But in a weird way, I loved it because it was finally something I built myself. By the end of day four, I had the skeleton of my website. Plain HTML, no styling, no colors, just structure. It was like building the frame of a car before painting it. And the mindset lesson of those two days, you don't need perfection to make progress, you just need a direction. Once the structure was done, I moved on to CSS and hit my first real wall. I thought adding color and a layout would be simple, but it wasn't. The more I tried to play with the CSS elements, the more I just broke things. That's when I learned the next mindset shift. Coding isn't about avoiding mistakes, it's about getting comfortable living inside them. So instead of crashing out every time something broke, I started actually debugging, checking syntax, slowly learning why something failed, and especially using ChatGPT. By the end of the day, my site still looked rough, but I knew how to fix it. And that's way more valuable than having it look perfect. 
For four days straight, that stupid navbar refused to behave. It wouldn't align, links wouldn't center, drop downs broke the layout and every new version somehow looked worse than the last. I must have rewritten it a dozen times. Flexbox, grid, inline box, absolute positioning, I tried everything. At one point I even convinced myself I'd accidentally discovered a new law of physics because nothing would stay where I put it. But those painful days taught me one of the most important parts of the mindset. You only truly learn when things go wrong. Because every time the navbar broke, I had to understand why it broke. And those small aha moments started stacking up. By the end of day 9, it finally worked. A clean, working navbar that didn't explode when I resized the page. It was the first real sign that I was getting better. After that small win, everything started to click. I understood how elements interacted, how spacing worked and how to keep the code clean. Every mistake from the first week suddenly made sense. It was like my brain had been buffering this whole time and now it finally loaded the full picture. I started adding proper sections and for the first time, my website started to look like an actual website. And that unlocked another layer of the mindset. Coding rewards persistence more than talent. You don't have to be brilliant, just stubborn enough not to quit. Days 11 to 13 were all about refinement. I focused on the small things, making headings pop, making sure that text was the correct size. It wasn't glamorous work, but it was the kind that separates just the project from something that feels complete. And during this process, I realized the mindset wasn't just about persistence. It was about patience with progress, understanding that the real growth happens in the quiet, repetitive parts of the process, not just the big breakthrough. Fourteen days later, I sat back and looked at my screen. A fully functional, clean BMW M3 competition website to showcase the car that I will drive in the future. Built entirely from scratch. No templates, no copying, no shortcuts. Yes, it wasn't perfect, but it worked. And every messy moment that got me there was worth it. That's when I finally understood what I meant by the mindset every beginner needs. It's not just about learning code, it's about learning how to think. How to stay curious when you're stuck, patient when you fail, and proud even when the result isn't perfect. So can you really go from zero to building a website in 14 days? Absolutely, if you're willing to be bad before you get good. Now, am I a professional? Definitely not, we have a long way to go. So if you want to see what I learn and build next, then click the subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.